right, let's check this out. So this is what we had almost before with a new rig. It's kind of cool to see a new, a new version with a different rig. And goes back. And you're mentioning here in the email that you actually want to end it here and not having it up and then have the spear and all that stuff with the catching of it. Okay. Thing is, you can always add it, you know, it's always good to, because it ends on the beat and you can always then choose to continue if you want. What I'm looking at and looking at your questions in your email, I think I'm, I get everything you want to do. My suggestions would be not from a mechanical point of view, but if he does all of this and then that, if you're going to end, I, I'm concerned that his head is still a bit too low. I can see that his eyes, you have some eye animation in there, that he's kind of looking up, kind of. Am I seeing this? I don't know. It feels, I feel like you want to rotate that head. If you want to end it here, that you're going to bring that head up, that he's really looking and getting ready. But I do wonder if you want to have another beat in there afterwards but it could work i think it would be it would be something where you retract that arm and instead of just having a little bit of this imagine you're going into a slightly different pose still what you have here but something where maybe you are leaning over this leg and this is still up but maybe now this arm is slightly up and he gets into like really really decisive i'm gonna kick your butt type of thing because if this is something where you're going to lift the head and raise the eyes a bit more to look forward, to me, like the attitude change is not enough. I feel like this is one thing of bringing this back. And then the last thing is, all right, let's go. But I don't think just moving this is enough. If that makes sense. Pose wise, it feels like the legs are a bit too parallel, defaulty. I think you could. They're definitely nice in terms of silhouette because everything has negative space in there. I'm just curious if there's something you could do to change one of them. What is he doing here? He does all of this and he goes back onto one here. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it could even be something where imagine he has the legs a bit more inward. And then maybe you see one foot a bit less and this one still a bit more. Just to give it a bit of a, a stronger silhouette difference for the two. And with the with the knees in, he might look also a bit weaker. And then when he does uh, kind of shake himself like, oh, all right, then you could have a little bit of a weight shift move to then bring his legs to this. So it wouldn't be huge, but still something. Because my concern here is when I see all of this, with all of that, there's nothing going on here. And we kind of need to have a bit of a change. Even if you would have some life to this, it would just be a root left, right with a little bit of something in there. And maybe that change here legs in and then into that will give us a broader change that's still not a massive post change if that makes sense it's like a post change within a pose then same thing here i think for this we're going a bit too straight rotate and nothing going on here at this point i would take this thigh and really lean this over he might be here he might even lift his knee a tiny bit and then you can translate him a bit over to get into that and then pop boom because right now again when you do this you can see how nothing's going on here and even if you had some keep alive it feels like this is clean rotation out of here where i would have a lean over like to me that translate is missing in the root and he does this here the tricky thing is let me just check if this is his hand here right hold on a little bookmark and then he goes pop boom down here Roughly, that's where he is. See how that hand is pretty much in the same position. So, again, it would be something where he could even potentially break frame. And the arm is out there. And, you know, I don't know how that will play with the legs in. Like basically, what I'm getting at is like your, your initial pose. Like, this seems very straight. I know it has a bit of a lean out here. But what I'm reading is a bit defaulty compared to you know the framing very vertical and then you go through a wake up and then oh i'm mad but we're still in that feeling and i'm just i'm trying to to think in terms of progression 
if you read this, does that really read as weak? Like, how do you want him to feel or how do you want the audience to perceive him? Perceive him? Tired, exhausted after the fight, weak, all that stuff. And then wakes up and goes, all right. So it's like a gradual, oh, okay, all right, well, let's fight. This It feels like, to me, this feels like there's a progression. But I don't see that progression in the pose until here where we have a change and then that's it. But even then, like I said before, I will do one more little change. So that will be my my broader comment for this version. It could even be something where, you know, if you have this and he's mad, it's a fist. Could also be that here, his hand is flat, fingers are out. You know, maybe this is, you know, it seems in, like it's intersecting. So it could be sand or something. And you got like really, you know, the fingers are kind of digging into this. Maybe they're more out like that. And then you have a bit of a pullback, fingers through the sand, forming a fist into this moment and then ba -ba, you know what i mean like i feel like this again it's very flat i don't think it's super dynamic to have it something like this but a fist and then you look at this here it's the same thing you could push that you could push that dynamic or that that um, progression in terms of how he feels in terms of everything finger poses body poses but that's something for you to decide like how do you want us to perceive him here and then after that and then here and then at the end these are to me all separate beats and then camera wise you change it just rotation i think it's okay i think what i would do is i would pull out a bit not throughout the shot just globally because we are fairly close to the edge and it feels like we almost don't give him enough room i think what i would do is pull out and then really concentrate on the storytelling poses and then we can always do a bunch of stuff with uh with the camera but just rotating up to reframe, I think is totally fine. I would just go out a little bit more. Because again, if I bring up this, we're very close to the edge here. But not quite breaking frame. It's like, ah, it's right there. It's right there. So I feel like we can just zoom out a bit more. Let's do, let's do something clumsy here. So close to that X. I'm almost closing this. Imagine it's a bit more like that within the frame. So if I bring up my other tool... So you would have, you know, this much space, like all the way down here, all the way down here, and so on and so on, all the way up there. My dog is agreeing. <laughs> time is it? Okay, that's like the usual time it starts yapping in the evening. I think that would be that would be mainly, mainly what you have for this. And then you talk about the mechanics of this here. I think he's looking over and does his thing and then this goes back not that you have to do like super on the nose acting where he does all this and then he looks at his arm and then it comes back at the same time there's also something to be said about guiding the audience so when he does maybe he has something like this for the adjustments but then he rotates over and he looks over guiding the audience of okay why is he looking at his arm and then you could have the coils move first because imagine that hand is coming back I mean, we don't know for how long but it would start having an effect here and then you know it kind of looks at that arm and what's going on and then you start seeing a bit more vibration more and more, more and we realize oh and then and then it comes back and i think if it comes back like this again i would have some translate left and him back and screen left but maybe a bit more rotation over definitely strong but it feels like it comes back and it locks and that's it. I think you can exaggerate that and make it just a bit of a, a broader moment. And why not? You could lead that into that last pose. Basically, you're doing and this translates him over, right? So he's slightly, not off balance, but he's clearly moving over. He's over there. But then he holds, holds, holds. And then when he comes back down into this, like that down movement, is then that last post change, maybe even with this arm in the air, like I said. So it's not just this and then head and body change, but it's imagine he leans back and then and then comes back down into this slightly different pose for that last beat. I hope that makes sense, right? So this comes back, moves him over, transits him over. He's going back, hold, hold, hold. Then when he settles back down into a balanced pose, that's his last new pose that is slightly different from this. Okay, hope that makes sense. Uh, as always, email me, let me know. We can chat about all of that. All right, thanks. All right, 
There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.